You may be familiar with Cook's Pest Control from their television commercials and that catchy looky 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 jingle. But that same family has established a natural science museum in Decatur. And as Jade Randolph tells us, it's about a lot more than just bugs. I, I know this is not Any excuse for a day out of class is good enough for most children even a field trip to a museum. And while the Cook Museum of Natural Science may sound like a dream destination for teachers, students are in for a treat once they step inside. Our museum is a natural science museum, it's observational science, so uh, we cover everything from uh, the solar system to the center of the earth. And one of the differences between us and, and a natural history museum is we focus on what's observational, so what you could see right now if you were to go out into nature. As you can see, there's a lot of fun activities within the walls of this popular Decatur attraction. The interactive nature of the museum exhibits can fool you into thinking you've wandered into an indoor theme park. They've loved it. It's been um, very interactive. Um, I can see their faces, they get excited when they know the answer. Um, they love looking at, every time they would mention, um, yeah, we have that animal down in the exhibit, they would get so excited and you could hear little gasps and, oh, yay! Seeing a child laughing, running, playing, and being engaged by something that's educational, it's exciting because, like I said, you're engaging them in a way that they're probably not being engaged elsewhere because now, in their minds, they're, they're an explorer. Uh, life is something to be explored. While coming to the museum is a lot of fun, their big focus is education. Because after all, life is amazing. We say life is amazing, that's our slogan here. When the kids are in there and it, the light bulb comes on, that wow, life is amazing. And it's not just that this bug is amazing or, or that tree is amazing, it's that life in general is amazing. And there's, there's purpose and there's, there's meaning in everything that I do. With interactive games, captivating lifelike exhibits, a variety of wildlife, and even a 15,000 gallon saltwater aquarium, the museum is the perfect place to capture even the shortest of attention spans. But every colorful corner has been carefully designed to reinforce classroom lessons. When they're interacting with our interactives, you know, being able to build, create, build a volcano with, of lava, they get, you know, you see that spark in their eye and they really do, they really do love that hands-on aspect and involving the senses is a lot of what our museum is about. Walking through the gallery, you know, they'll read something um, about the jelly life cycles or how um, we have such a problem with plastic bag pollution because they look like jellies and you can actually see, oh yeah, they actually do. The history of the museum itself dates back to 1968 when Cook's pest control president, John Cook Sr., transformed his insect and taxidermy collection used for employee training into an educational resource open to the general public. His hope then was to share the beauty of God's creation with his community. That vision has culminated in students like these, who will leave today with a different perspective on the amazing world around them. When they're able to come in and experience and touch and feel and look at and really listen to things, then they're able to retain that knowledge and even apply it to other things that they're going to learn. I know two months down the road when I'm studying something else that they're going to look back and say, oh, I remember when we saw that at Cook's Museum and I remember when we did this at Cook's Museum. When you look at this building, it's, it's fantastic. People look at it and they go, wow, this is really unique and this is amazing but you don't see the story. This is, a, this is an average person uh, with an above average dream and he made it come to life with consistent effort and a heart for people. So that's, that's great to me. For Simply Southern, I'm Jade Randolph. The museum is generally open Tuesday through Sunday with the exception of some holidays. For more information, check them out online at cookmuseum.org. When Simply Southern continues, We'll show you how the Alabama 4-H Foundation is working to improve their facilities to develop better leaders for the state. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. 
Farm Bureau Bank has built its entire existence around the lifestyle and needs of farmers and ranchers across America. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. From sunup to sundown, we are committed to serving you. I take pride in the product that we produce as a catfish farmer. Hi, I'm Willard Poe, and I'm the 2019 Alabama Catfish Farmer of the Year. When I go out to a restaurant and see people eating U.S. farm-raised catfish, you know, that, that gives you a sense of pride and a sense of joy, uh, knowing that, you know, you have produced a product that uh, other people, you know, enjoy. Other people love to go out and eat.